Hey guys, it's Chris with Droid Sharp. Today I'm going to go take a look at the application called Switch Widget Pro. Uh, it's pretty much just like extended controls. Um, it's your power control bar um, with just a lot of extra features, you know, customization and looks as far as um, which actual uh, toggles are in that bar and how, what colors the bottom bar is and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see, uh, see how that works. Alright, so I'll show you what Switch Pro actually looks like. Um, we're going to menu add widgets. Um, I'm going to scroll all the way down to the Switch Pro. Um, we have four different sizes. Let's go with size four. Uh, it's going to be the bigger size. Um, select background, which is default, translucent, and background. Let's go with uh, default so you can see just what it looks like. Uh, number of buttons and how many buttons you actually want to have. Um, indicator color. I like light blue. It matches, you know, what I kind of have going on with my colors. Um, and you can change what's in each position. Let's show you what options you actually have. Wi-Fi, data, Bluetooth, you know, battery indicator. I'm going to throw that on there and show you what that looks like. Um, reload SD card, reboot, only for where it depends, obviously. Flashlight, speaker mode. Let's get a flashlight show you how that works. Um, anyway, so if I had seven positions, it would let me do that. Um, for other options, we have uh, use APN toggle. Mute media volume, use camera flash. Um, so that's what I'm going to use for my actual flashlight application. So if you just turn your screen white, um, show Wi Fi panel, Bluetooth panel, you know, lots more options to control what Switch Pro does when you actually use one of their toggles. So now we're done with that. Boom. It looks really good. It looks pretty um, standard for you know, the ROM that I'm currently running. It, it looks like it was built into it. Uh, I've got plenty of options now. I can turn this one. Um, this will just adjust my screen brightness. So it, it, all this is now customized options. Um, I use Extended Pro, or Extended Controls the most. You can check my review for that. But this has a lot of functionality and a lot more um, in-depth options for those functions than um, that actually has. So I just turned on my flashlight and you can see it uses my the dual LEDs on the back of my phone, or like my Nexus uses its LED. And any phone with a you know, flash on the back, you know, you can turn this on and off. Um, I've got my battery indicator right up there. It says 84%. Uh, so I use that. And when I click that, it pulls me up into this is just the normal settings that your phone has um, through Android. And it shows you. Um, battery consumption, what is consumed, consumed the battery, how much of it, 5% and so on. So, um, I like having this. I use this um, a lot. Um, this and extended controls with stuff like a uh, power strip and um, quick desk because uh, especially for um, using the flashlight application, I use that a lot for like in dark areas. I can quickly go to a power strip like this and, you know, find my way around. Uh, especially since LEDs on these phones are so bright. So, it's not too complicated on the application, but it certainly has a ton of features that are very applicable to the application. It doesn't have any features that are useless or, uh, you know, get in the way or even hard to understand. It's, it's very straightforward. If you want a widget to toggle this, this, and this, you know, power, this, this actual um, widget makes it super easy to pick which toggles you want. And where and maybe what colors you want them to be, what your background is, and overall just get exactly what you want out of a toggle widget. Alright, well as you guys can see it's a really interesting widget. It has a lot of customization and a lot of features. Um, it's pretty similar to extended controls and you guys can check out my review of that and decide which one you like better, but overall it's a great widget and I think it's worth the money. So go ahead and check it out and hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thank <laughs> you.